Uh, hi everyone, my name is Olivia. Uh, I'll be talking about my program that um, detect depression in social media. So um, depression is one of the most frequent and devastating mental illness that has a significant social impact. It's common knowledge that mental health is an important aspect of public health and depression is one of the most common causes of disability in the world. Millions of individuals suffer from depression around the world. According to WHO estimate from 2014, approximately 20% 20 of children and adolescents have suffered from mental illness, with half of these diseases beginning before the age of 14. Furthermore, mental and substance use disorders were responsible for almost 23% of all deaths worldwide. Because of the close interaction that exists between social media platforms and its users, these platforms have come to mirror the user's personal life on a number of levels. So depression eyes is an intelligence system to automate the detection of used depression with social media using AI and machine learning. The student is the targeted group because most students with depression express themselves on social media rather than seeking help from doctors. And what makes it special? So with the help of the Instagram API, the users are able to log in directly with an Instagram account. Then the system automatically estimates the user's depression level without any additional questionnaires. Combined with the user-friendly interface, the entire analysis can be extremely convenient and quick. And on the technical side, um, the Depression Eyes gathers captions and images from the user's personal Instagram profile through web scraping with the help of a, a client in the Instagram private API. Google Cloud generates a large database of text sentiment analysis and picture labels. The captions and picture analysis performed by the app is um, supported by Google Cloud dataset. And the caption analysis is dependent on Google Cloud language VI, uh, V1 package text sentiment analysis. And all text input will receive a score from negative one to one, uh, negative one being um, extreme negative and one being extreme positive. The picture analysis is dependent on Google Cloud Lucian image label, uh, label filter. Uh, labeled detection, safe search annotation, and human face annotations. The app finds and reports whether half of the user's picture are depressive, depending on the percentage of depressive images, and it splits the caption analysis results into slightly depressive, depressive, and positive caption. And here is a flowchart of the working process. First, the user needs to have an Instagram account ready. Then the program will web scrape and store all posts, including the captions and the pictures. Then I use the Google AI Cloud to get a database for a picture and text analysis. Then I build the app using um, Flutter. And here's a demo. So I created a testing Instagram account. Uh, which has all uh, depressive pictures and captions. Swipe to continue and enter the Instagram username and password here. Deep a little bit and, and this is the instruction page. So um, after entering the password and username, just click sign in and it will lead to the result. And here's the result. So the captions result is um, your posts are depressive, which is true, and images, at least half of your images are depressive. And all, all the captions uh, from the posts are shown here. And all the pictures are shown here. And there's also a suicide hotline in case um, if the users need any help. 
Uh, yeah. So let's look at the codes. These are all written in Python. So the first segment of code here is how to how we get the users post. Basically, Instagram private API client class enables the user to pass in their username and password. And the program then has the ability to access the user's in, um, Instagram. Uh, the program uses self feed function to get authenticated user owned feed. Since the program only needs captions and pictures, it collects information inside item among the user's own feed. The picture are presented as link, which are stored in the pick links list. The captions are stored in the caption list. Um, let's move on to the second segment of code. In order to determine whether the input captions are depressive, the program includes a text analysis function defined with a parameter text, which uh, receives the passing caption. The text sentiment analysis is dependent on Google Cloud Language V1 package. Um, the program first instantiates a client through the language survey client function, then passes the caption input to the document function. The program detects the sentiment of the caption using the analyze sentiment function. The sentiment variable stores score and magnitude. Um, and so the document magnitude shows how much emotional content it contains and which is significant when analyzing documents with a neutral score. So the function returns the sentiment score uh, mul multiplied by the magnitude as a result. Um, the program finds the score of the caption stores uh, it's stored in the caption list. Um, the caption average is either identified as slightly depressive, posit uh, depressive and positive. Average score above zero is considered depressive, below negative 0.25 is considered negative, and average between 0.25, negative 0.25 and zero is considered slightly depressive. And here's an image analysis. So the program used uh, Google Cloud Vision AI to conduct the image analysis. Hmm. Uh, so Vision AI employs machine learning to analyze images with um, industry-leading prediction accuracy, and train machine learning models that classify images by custom labels and detect objects in face, reading, read handwriting, and construct imp important image metadata. After instantiating a client and loading the image into memory, the program performs label detection on the image file. It stores the label, saves their results, and the face feature results of the image in different variables. So if the labels in the image include darkness and fearful, the picture is considered as depressive. If the safe violence uh, presented in the picture, it's considered depressive. Considering the face features in case some posts include face, face with anger and sorrow are considered depressive and face with joy are considered positive. And the program also finds the uh, the depress depression percentage by dividing the total images with the depressive images, and it reports whether or not half of the images are depressive. And I choose Flutter and open source UI software development kit um, for the front end development because Flutter can be used to develop cross platform applications for iOS, Android, Linux, Mac, and Windows. Um, so there are five pages um, in my program. The main page that leads the user to the program, the login page that enables the user to put in their Instagram username and password, the about page that gives instruction on how the program works um, to the users, the info page that demonstrates the caption and image analysis of the results, and the picture page that demonstrates all picture in the user's Instagram post. And that's like an overview of the, the app. So um, compare uh, to other related works. Um, so many well-regarded skills and criteria have been developed based on user research or questionnaire survey. Uh, uh, for example, back depression inventory, for example, consists of 21 questions about the mental and uh, psychological status of the user. And uh, the, the CSD, CSED scale, which includes 20 mental health issues such as user skill, sentiments, and sleep patterns, 
These proposals, however, presume that people with depression are willing to reply to the survey, which is rarely the case in practice because most patients do not want to open their minds to interact with the survey. And the program automatically analyzes their posts on social media uh, without additional questionnaires. And another method is to check for physical indicators of depression, such as back discomfort, headaches, limb pain, joint pain, etc. cetera. Um, unfortunately, about half of those who suffer from depression are never recognized or treated because doctors are required to physically contact patients to, de de to detect if there's any symptoms. Uh, this method could be too complex. It frequently leads to patients with late depression. Uh, this also make it difficult for patients who primarily use social media and refuse to seek uh, medical assistance. So my program uh, uses social media as a platform to detect depression, uh, and it can perform a text analysis on the user's caption. And the uh, image analysis also enables the post with only images to be checked. And some of the challenge, so it's complicated to scrape the data stored in another social media and implement my program to analyze this data. Also, sensitive data that can be used to manipulate others should not be gathered and used for any purposes. In addition, the data extracted from the Instagram social media platform is challenging due to the unstructured nature of the text posted by users. The posts are introduced with misspelled words, new terms, character limitations, and syntactic errors when composing a message. And also conducting the image analysis is complicated because there is no standard. For example, dark color doesn't mean the picture is sad and depressing, and bright color doesn't mean that a picture is positive and joyful. Uh, it might be easy for human to look over the picture and decide which category that certain picture should be in, but it's complicated for machines to analyze. In addition, picture also include different elements or symbols that represent a certain thing, which makes it complex for computers. Irony has also been increasingly using images, which often trick computers to consider the image by completely off uh, or opposite meaning. And so uh, for future development, in order to improve the accuracy of image analysis, I'll try more library or use the library to scratch my own algorithm. For example, I'll try uh, the OpenCV package with Python and uh, TensorFlow uh, to enhance the way it classifies something as depressive. I'll also make the mobile app function the same on the computer and potentially make it an extension. Yeah. And here's a website and download link. And this is my contact information. And thank you.